the third uh, macronutrient we're discussing is protein. And I'm going to start with the zebra popcorn this time. So protein, as I said before, is an essential nutrient. We need it. Uh, particularly if you're watching this video, you're probably in my age category. And as we're aging, just got to let you know, we lose muscle mass, okay, um, and bone density as we get older. It's just it's a fact of life. And so that's why exercise is so important, so that we can maintain as much muscle mass um, and uh, strengthen those bones as much as possible. Um, most, of my, most of my clients are interested in losing some type of weight. And so a point that I try to make, which I hope is getting through, is that the more muscle that you uh, keep on your frame, uh, the more fat you'll burn throughout the day. Okay, more calories, I should say. Uh, forgive me. The more calories you should you, you'll burn throughout the day, um, and it does help with uh, regulating uh, body fat. The more muscle you have on your frame, and remember, more muscle does not mean bulky. Being a bulky person, it just means when you're um, working out, you want to protect um, the gains that you're making in terms of your your muscle. Okay, so anyway, protein, as you can see here, with the great the, the 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 tasty snack uh this popcorn which is great by the way i'm not trashing this product i like it but uh, moderation is the key less than one gram of protein there's hardly any protein in here that means you could probably eat this whole bag and get one gram or two grams of protein but in one serving there's less than one gram versus the oats dun, dun, dun. can you tell i eat oats oats are one of my favorite things to eat Five grams, five grams of protein, all right? So you, you definitely want to have a diet that uh, has a significant amount of protein, okay? I would say if you've got at least a half a gram to maybe 0.8 grams of protein um, per pound of body weight, I think that you would be fine, okay? So if you, if you can eat half of your body weight in protein. As a matter of fact, you could even eat less than that. I mean, per kilogram of body weight, you know, you could you could do a 0.5 or 0.8 grams of protein per kilogram. I know there's some math involved with that, um, but to give you a sense, like I'm one about 160, somewhere I, I vary between 162 and 165 with my body weight these days. So I could um, get away with about half my body weight, you know, about 80 grams uh, or so of protein a day. You know what I mean? But because I work out a lot, I need more than that. Okay. So I'm going to push really for, you know, over a hundred grams a day. But uh, just to give you kind of a reference number, most of you strive for at least half your body weight and grams of protein in terms of your intake. And, and if you're my client, we can get into the specifics of that. That's just a general kind of rule to follow, but not absolutely necessary. But the bottom line is, I think you should be consuming, um, you know, somewhere be, you know, between uh, 70 to 100 uh, grams of protein daily. Okay, just to give you some ballpark figure. All right, so, um, and, let me make this one more note about protein for those of you who are exercising. Because if you're my client, that means you, you're embarking on a journey where you're becoming more physically active, right? You're going from, I just didn't really, you know, work out, sitting at a desk all day or whatever, too busy with work, to um, now I'm trying to work out three times a week with you, Stanley, or I'm working out a couple times a week with you, but I'm shooting for five you know, I'm going to go to the gym by myself and I'm going to work out with you. Either way, now you're subjecting your body to stress. Exercise, by definition, is stress applied, you know, to the body. There's positive stress, not negative stress, but positive stress applied to your muscles, applied to your bones, and protein helps with that recovery. Here's what you don't want to do. You don't want to under-consume protein so that, you know, because this is how the body, body works. When you go to the gym and you apply stress to your muscles, um, the muscle needs to recover. It needs to repair itself from that stress. And when it repairs itself, it comes back bigger, better, and stronger and able to do more the next time. Now, the recovery period, which involves nutrition, the consumption of protein, will aid 
in the muscle becoming stronger and repairing itself so that it could produce more for you next time. If you underconsume protein, you're probably undercutting your benefits where you'll show up the next time to work out pretty much at square one and you don't want to do that, okay? So that's my little spiel on uh, protein. I'll uh, do a summary uh, video shortly, but watch those nutrition labels, people. Very important, all right?